Welcome back guys. So today I want to show you how to use your coyote baculums. So you know there's raccoon and there's the coyote one. So the quick difference is, um, I'll break it down as quick and easy for you to remember. So the raccoon is for those of you that are in faithful relationships with faithful lovers. And the coyote is for those of you that have mistresses, side pieces, cheaters, like all of that extra stuff. That's, that's what that's for. So for those of you that are working on no strings attached relationship, friends with benefits and situations like that, don't work with broken um, baculums because I know a lot of people be working with them and they'll send y'all broken baculums or broken body parts of the animals. Those, those have no use. It's just like if you use a broken candle, I'll tell you, don't use it. It's energy, it's, it's broken for whatever reason. It broke for a reason and the energy no longer sits in it. Just like when your bracelets break. And I tell you, when your bracelets break, they start unraveling, the jewelry starts falling to police. Anytime your evil eye, your cleansing, your protection, and your 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 charm bracelets start breaking apart, it's it has done its job. It has held in more than enough energy and protection for you, and it no longer can serve that purpose, so it will pop. So if you have anything broken and you know you're purchasing something, a coyote back you know, or even some kind of animal parts because I know a lot of y'all work with animal parts and stuff make sure that it is intact okay so I'm going to show you how to fix up your jars and your bottles to working on those side levels because we have relationships that are good stable foundations and they have a lot of love and a lot of growth and then there's the people that don't have that they they kind of get used to being the side woman the side man the mistress just always jumping in other people's relationships so i want to make sure that y'all work on y'all stuff correctly because y'all can't work on the same stuff that us faithful lovers have you 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 want to be the wife right but you settled for the side bitch so you're gonna have to stay on the side bitch level and when you use the roots you're gonna have to use the side bitch roots so i'm, I'm and i'm being honest i'm being 100 percent honest with y'all i'm being real because you know, love jumping in other people's relationship. As long as you jump jumping in mine, I could care less what y'all doing with other people's men. Honestly. So for the majority of y'all trying to push yourself into relationships using faithful herbs and roots and curios that would be used for somebody on a more committed level, of course it's not going to give you no results. Make sure that you're using the correct thing. Make sure. Now, if you are working a, a grease grease bag or a mojo bag for your lover these would be in there if i know that you are a side lover and he's your side lover whatever the situation is this will be in there unless it's a faithful relationship then i will put a raccoon back on along with other herbs that are going to keep that relationship committed stable and steady together and i know things happen and i know some of y'all get tied up in relationship and everything happening but you don't stop you continue so no strings attached, um, friends with benefits, and side pieces. Y'all have to work in a correct manner that's going to be suitable for you. And if you are a person that loves interceding in other people's relationships and breaking up people and just doing all types of negative shit, unnecessary shit, understand that the same shit that you have put out, the same energy, behavior, emotions, and stress that you have put onto another person, it's just a matter of time before it comes back on you. So if you're just going to be a no strings attached friends with benefits, that is cool. Make sure you stay on that level. But if you're going to be the type that you're going to break up shit and do all types of stuff to get your way, understand that some of the ancestors are not going to side with you and her ancestors and his ancestors. So when you're going into other people relationships and doing all types of uncertain things, get a reading first, get a reading. Let, let's just get into the video. Okay. I have a few here with me. I have caddy. I have sweet, but you also need friends with benefits and or like a no, no strings attached to work with this. So I'm going to use today a few roots and herbs that I have found beneficial for my clients that enjoyed no strings attached, friends with benefits and or being that little sneaky link. So you're going to combine the sweet oil and you're going to combine the caddy oil to have him or her or them or they all up on you like a cat so you know how you use catnip in a ritual where I tell you use catnip I may say use patchouli and I'll say use five finger grass and when you start using it and you're consistent with it the man does not stop bothering you it's like he's up your ass on a regular basis he can't like he's sitting outside parked he keeps on coming back he got to be up under you 
the caddy oil is going to help you with that. And combined with the sweet, he'll be nice about it. So when you use caddy oil sometimes by itself and you're working it on a man or a woman that really has somebody else attached and you're also working on somebody that's not giving you the time and the day and attention and you're working on somebody that has really no time to give you that commitment, it can make them really angry that they're coming around you all the time and they're up on the you all the time and it can really bring in a bit of aggression. So that's why I tell you sometimes, get a reading on these men, get a reading on these women because if there's a lot of pent up anger anyway and they're cheating with you and they're pushing you away and they're just sometimes using you just for sex because that's really what it is with a friends with benefits and a no strings attached relationship, you're going to be getting your emotions all over the place. Because if it's a friends with benefits, you shouldn't be crossing a line. You shouldn't be asking him or her where you stand, what intentions they have. Because I honestly feel when you meet somebody, there's no intentions there. They have to get to know you first. You may not like side bitch, so we'll call you SB, okay? So the SB and, and the men will call you the SD, you the side dick, okay? So when you have a relationship like that and this person cannot give that to you and you're going to work magic, you're going to be working a little bit harder than everybody else. Some ginger root. Patchouli root. Patchouli is really good for tying people up in situations that they don't want to be in. And that's why it's good as well, too, to help break off certain jinxes and hexes on you. I have one baculum, some cinnamon, and then I have a mixture and combinations. Friends with benefits. I have a little bit of bendum in there. I'm going to explain to you why you would use the bendum. And then I have um, no strings attached, right? So a little bit of everything. I have a red oil. Whenever you're wanting to sleep with somebody and you want to be more sexually, use a red oil. And you have red oil, and then we're going to use some red wine. And then I have like a little flask container. So you got everything in there. All right, let's look around. And the, gin the ginger smells really, 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 really good. I put the pieces of the, from the, um, this is the thing root. This is patchouli root. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the root, the leaves. There's different parts to certain herbs that you work with. This is the dry part. This is the root. It works really, really good for sexual relationships and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to put the red wine in first, okay? Now, ain't no prayer or no psalms in the Bible for taking other people's men. So don't, you know, <laughs> ask me, Maddie, what psalms can I say? What does Jesus say to do? Um, you're going to come up with your own prayer. All of my information is below, and I hope you have really enjoyed this video. And until next time, like, subscribe, and stay blessed.